Merry Christmas and the Holy Innocents. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share our content, spread the joy around, help us out and donate your tax deductible gift to higher things keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation. That's what higher things is all about. The faith in the ears of young people throughout the world. Give today. Every now and again during the Christmas season, and where this is the last day of Christmas, the 12th day of Christmas, there is a second Sunday in Christmas. Um, 12 days of Christmas, you can do the math on how that, when Christmas has to, to fall in order for there to be a second day in Christmas. The second day of Christmas's gospel text, which you had on Sunday, was the death of the holy innocents. Let's take a look quickly at just a verse from there. This is in Matthew chapter 2. And Herod, when he saw that he had been uh, tricked or deceived, I think tricked is better because they didn't have evil intent. So tricked by the Magi, he was angry. And um, and he sent, he apostled, um, to be killed all children, male children, in Bethlehem and in this, the all the region from two years and younger, according to the time which he had ascertained from the Magi. Uh, this is important. A couple of things we learned from this text. One... Uh, we learn the approximate age of Jesus when the Arisemen arrived. He had to have been under two years old. Um, he was already in a house. We'll learn about that tomorrow. But the most important thing is that is to note that uh, Herod's going to overkill. So my guess is that Jesus is probably one year old by, or, or less than one year by the time of the Magi. So, so Herod wants to kill Jesus in order that he would remain king. The, the children in Bethlehem die. And their sin is simply that they were born at the same time, at, around the same time as Jesus. Now, what do we learn from this? Well, we learn a little bit about Christmas um, on, on this day and a little bit, and it's good to learn in the last day. It's good to take into the new year. There's a lot of joy surrounding the Christmas season. Uh, joy that Christ has come. Joy that God has taken on our flesh joy that God and sinners are reconciled. But in the midst of that is the cold, hard reality seen in a few events in the Christmas season. Uh, the stoning of Stephen, December 26th. Holy Innocence, I think that's December 28th. And also um, the second Sunday in Christmas, which is also the Holy Innocence as well, which remind us of the cold reality of our faith. Christ died for us. Christ rose for us. We have salvation in him. And in that, the world will want us to suffer. They will want to kill us. And I'm not putting on my aluminum hat here and, and telling you um, uh, uh, conspiracy theories in the new world. It's in the new year. It's exactly there. It's right there in the text. The, 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 the poor holy innocents in Bethlehem, the little babies, have no sin other than they were born at the same time as Jesus. You have no sin in Jesus. Um, to the world, though, you have tons of sins. And the, the chief of them is that you believe that Christ died and rose again for you. Now, what I, what I just said, let's be clear here. You confess your sins to God, and he is faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Before God, you are totally and completely forgiven. Same time saint and sinner, simul. I'll get you a video sometime on that. But the important thing here is to note in the new year, suffering comes. It's part of being a Christian. Persecution comes. That's part of being in Christ. People hate you for no other reason other than Jesus. Like the Holy Innocents, our hope is not in ourselves or our faithfulness. If we're going to be judged by how faithful we are, whew, our hope is in Christ. And that is a certain hope. That is a sure hope that no matter what happens to us in, in 2021, it happens to us in Christ 
and we will be saved. That's the certainty in the new year and the certainty when you come to the reality, the realization that in Jesus, there's suffering. In Christ, there is pain. And in Christ, though, there is salvation. Only in Christ is there salvation. I'm Pastor George Borkhart. And this has been another Higher Things video short.